here on uh, representing BBI, and uh, going to talk, talk to uh, Caroline Gregory. Um, you're here today helping everybody grade out there. Yep. You're not grading yourself now? No, no not yet. How long have you been at Black Belt now? Um, four years. Four years. And what part are you, uh, the country are you from? Uh, first door, I think. The first bit. Oh, right. And then the batteries. Oh, fair deal. Oh, that's okay. Feature right. one, pity point. Get it here from there. Okay. So I mean, Richard and you obviously run the Satoru yeah. uh, Karate. Um, is it an association or federation or a club or style? It's a club. It, 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 yeah, it's a club. It is a style, but um, it's also a style that's shared by many other clubs. So. Mm -hmm. um, on the all the things that are going on around there, uh, I gather that there must be similarities between the other people and yourselves. But obviously, the politics is shelved. Yeah. Yeah, which is great, because um, obviously uh, politics is rife <laughs> in a negative sense amongst martial arts, um, and we, we've come from the same background, so uh, we've gone our separate ways, but we've, we've come back again, and we meet to train, we also train with other clubs individually, um, so we take what we glean from that and bring it back. So it's how do you how find um, that benefits, um, I know you obviously bring it back, mm. but um, I suppose from the other clubs and by networking with other people, you find out more about current market trends and because uh, you're actually there doing bits and pieces There's that motivates the students as well. Yeah, there is that as well. Um, you always find that someone's found a way of promoting a class or um, you know, bringing more students in that you haven't thought of before. So from that end, yes, it's also useful as well as the, from, from the karate side. How did you find, I mean, obviously with events like this, the Gashi Go, um, next year they're going to be the same year the event, obviously, mm -hmm. with uh, more people involved, different people involved, which yeah. is obviously... Um, good. Um, how do you find the uh, the networking? You're obviously at Bradford as well with the BBI event. Yeah. How did you find the networking there? It was excellent. It's very different um, because uh, we don't do a lot of mixed martial arts. Uh, we are, as you know, traditional. Um, so it was nice to meet the people who can do the very high kicks and you know all the fun stuff that everyone wants to see on film. Um, Absolutely. It's it's nice to learn that stuff too. You know, adding a different dimension to things. I think what got me about that was that what amazed me was there was as many people in there who were like 50, 55, 60. Yeah, you wouldn't reckon it, would you? I, I, I thought, well, you, you know, what got them in here? I actually took time to ask as well. Okay. And um, I think there is a market, there is a place in the market for that. And I think it's inspiring, but I think some people. When they see it, you're saying, oh no, I can't do that. But then it's not for everything. A bit like sushi, isn't it? Some people say, oh yeah. no, I don't want that. <laughs> it's taste, isn't it? Absolutely. But, um, but I do think it's inspiring. I think one of the things about the marketplace at the moment is things need to be constantly changed. Because once people have seen it, they've taken a notice of it again. And they tend to become ad blind. Which is, uh, I suppose in a way, yeah. So I think there's so many different aspects I mean, if you get three posters and you've got some guy saying, I'm tapped down, or you've got another guy saying, I do the best style, and then you've got a guy standing next to a Power Ranger, you know where the kids are going to go. They're going to go to the Power Ranger. <laughs> so that's what they're identified with. They don't know what a tenth down is. They don't know what a different style of martial arts. To them, it's all... I suppose we haven't tried promoting it with a Power Ranger yet. A lot of people have, we did uh, an event before, and they, a lot of people come down and they're actually planning to come to the next one, because I'm bringing him back, that's what I've got to... Oh, Mr. Black Power Ranger. Uh, Black Power he, he played, I think, uh, Jason, uh, I think he's played them all. Oh, right, fair news. <laughs> Even the pink one. <laughs> no, not the, power, not the pink one. Oh, I think he played all the cards. I think he was a green, then he was a white, then he was a black. Because he had some, uh, I've not actually seen all the series, but he, I mean, he's, Jason's a good guy, he, 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 he's a laugh. But the other one, if you look at the actual uh, website and the hits, the most popular character was Karen Shepherd. I mean, she was uh, not a karate diva anyway, but she was a world champion. She used to be Cynthia on many occasions okay. um, in the sort of forms and stuff. But uh, she's uh, she played the enforcer in Hercules, and of course, when we brought her over, I mean, that's the most popular hit, hit clip we've got on there. Uh, they seem to love her. A lot of the guys who were coming over, oh, Karen, she thinks she's lovely. I think, oh, no, she's with a partner already. No, do you mean that? <laughs> oh, if we just wear these, it's very different. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Karen, she's okay. And of course, her husband's, um, he works on set too, and he's a writer as well, so. Oh, right. He's, um, he's a nice guy, Charis Panita. But um, they're coming back as well. Okay. 
But I think a lot of the aspect, when you look at the marketing of it, I don't think it's about the karate side. I think too many karate people, or martial arts people, look at the martial arts and market it to other martial arts. And I think we should be concentrating on our competitors, which are football, tennis. Because people only usually do one hobby, don't they? Well, I don't know. I've got some children in the classes who do four, five, six. Isn't it that? And it's today's day and age? Maybe I'm in a yeah, they good area. Family. They probably <laughs> in school, but they usually they have a main hobby they pay for. <coughs> on our research and stats and that shows usually they pick one. Okay. And I think, uh, generally speaking, I think martial arts got more to offer. Uh, in by way of discipline, leadership skills, focus points. You know. mm -hmm. I think. I'd agree. You know, it's uh, the way we should go. I think if we could just get one percent of the other sports market of martial arts, I think we'd we'll be, be all right. Horrendous, horrendously better off. You know, but uh, a lot of people don't see the values in it. But I think that's important. But uh, how do you, um, and Richard, envisage your club growing in the next five years? Um, <coughs> good question. Got any plans for that? It is growing slowly and surely. Um, at the moment, we have to focus on our family, so um, we're going to put off uh, too much of a push for the next year or so, and then we will um, uh, regroup and um, take over from there. I think I'll be doing some of the marketing and promotion, which I've done before. I think with a lot of the marketing stuff and the promotion stuff, I know we've done stuff with Nestle, we've done stuff with Paramount, of course, Country Panda stuff. Mm -hmm. um, not all of it is successful for everyone, but everyone yeah. has their bonuses and some Absolutely. people do better at some things than others. And that depends on location, it depends on time of year. I mean, the Kung Fu Panda stuff has come at the wrong time of year, really. But that's when it's been released. So, I mean, obviously, in some holidays, when we're losing students to vacations and holidays and things. Yeah, I suppose we're bringing them in with the, with yeah. the McDonald's vouchers. Well, it's quite, have you had any? Yes, we do. We had one um, two days ago. It's a start. Mm. Some, so people, some people have had more results than others. I mean, I've had a few people that said, you know, I haven't had anyone. Uh, it's only been two weeks anyway, but, um, you know, it's not going to affect everybody. You know, some people phone me up and say, we've had loads. Mm. I'm thinking, wow, great. I suppose it maybe it depends on the area as well. Area, um, what's going on in the area, how many kids in the area. I mean, loads of things. Demographics, really. Still, thanks very much. It's been very nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you, Caroline. Cheers. Cheers. You can watch my guys